Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario based on record trigger flow. Let's understand the requirement of record trigger flow. So in this video, you will understand custom notification in flow. So in record trigger flow, if you want to send a custom notification, so how we can do that? So the requirement says whenever a case is escalated, then we need to send a custom notification to a public group. So we can send custom notification to a individual user as well as we can send that custom notification to a public group. So custom notification basically appears in this bell icon, right? And uh, here it is mentioned like whenever case is escalated. So you might be thinking, what do you mean by escalated? So if I jump to case object, and if I open any case record, so there you will see one field named as status. So if we added this field, so here you will find a pick list value that is escalated. So if on case record, if this status is changing and it, it is uh, changed to escalated, then your flow should run. Okay. So I hope now you understood what is the meaning of escalation then uh, where we can see the custom notification and now we need to just uh, create a public group first then i will be implementing the flow so public group basically uh, we create so that we can make more than one users member of a group so here you just need to click on new so i am naming it as my group and from here i am selecting users so in my org, I have two Salesforce license users. So I'm just adding those and clicking on save. So here you can see my public group is created. If I open this, so it will show me the members. So both users are member of this public group. Now I need to send the notification to this public group with the help of record trigger flow. So I'm going to create a record trigger flow now. Okay, before uh, creating record trigger flow, I need to create one more thing that is custom notification. So first we need to create the custom notification here. Then you can use that, that custom notification inside the record trigger flow. So here one demo notification is already available, right? Uh, so we can use this, but if you want to create new one, so you just need to provide the name and API name and uh, supported channels right so i'm going to use this one so i'm copying this api name so that i can use this in the record trigger flow so here i am selecting object as case if it is updated then condition like status Uh, equals to escalated and from bottom I am selecting this option only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirement so if you want to understand the difference between these two so you can read this help text so perhaps you want the flow to run only when the uh, triggering record is changed from not meeting the condition requirement to meeting the condition requirement when that's the case, choose the second option. So only if uh, like status is changing from any other uh, status to escalated, then only uh, this flow will work. If I select second option in that case, like whenever uh, uh, that record is updated and status is equals to escalated. So if you are not changing status field, you are changing any other field and your status is escalated. And if you select this option, still your flow will run. And we don't want to do that. We want to run the flow whenever the status field is changed from any other status to escalated. And uh, I'm selecting this actions and related record because we need to use that uh, custom notification action. Now I clicked on plus. So here I'm selecting action and searching for notification. So here we have this option, send custom notification. 
So before that, here you can see like uh, before implementing this action, you need custom notification type ID, right? So I'm going to use get record first. So if you remember like this custom notification, we need to fetch in the flow. With the help of that, we can only send custom notification. So you can search for custom notification type. Here you can search for developer name equals and this demo underscore notification, which I created here. Then only the first record and automatically store all the fields. So first you need to fetch this. Then again, you can click on actions and search for notification. Sorry, I selected wrong option. Second option I need to select. Then send notification. Right, so here also like we need to create notification body, notification title, recipient IDs. Right, so this recipient IDs will be the uh, public group. So let's create these as well first, then we will be having this option. So I'm going to create notification body through new resource and having text template. So here I'm writing notification body and clicking on done. I'm creating one more text template as notification title. So I'm selecting view as plain text and notification title, right? Now, if I select this action again, so three things we have now, custom notification ID we have, we have notification body, we have title. Now we need to populate recipient IDs, right? So here we need to provide the public group ID. So I need to query that as well. So I'm selecting get record, so get group. So public groups are available under this group object. So you need to select group. And here you can search it. So I'm just having public group name. So let me search public group. So we have both the things name or developer name. So here we have public group name. So it is a developer name. So I'm just copying this. Developer name equals this my group. So this group is fast, only the first record automatically store all the fields. And now I can finally have that action. So here you need to provide the ID. So we have notification like this custom notification type from get notification. So you can just select the ID. Then here you can have notification body, here you have notification title, and here we have this group dot. Okay, we just need to provide the group. Okay, this we need to check. So basically, I'm just taking help from Salesforce article. So we have this help. So here you can see uh, like in recipients ID, uh, we need to provide group ID. So the notification is sent to all active users who are member of this group. So the ID of recipient to recipient type. Okay, so basically what we need to do, it is a collection variable and we need to uh, put that uh, public group ID into a collection, then only it will work. So I'm just canceling it. And uh, here I'm going to create a collection first. So recipient IDs, text, 
allow multiple values and done. So I'm just having assignment here. So that public group that we fetched through get record, that's ID will be added into this. And let's say if you want to add some individual user as well, so you can add that user ID into this recipient ID. So what you can do, you can select this recipient ID, then add and here you can have that uh, particular ID. Okay. But right now we have this public group. So I'm adding it. Now, Again, clicking on this action and selecting send custom notification action. Now everything will be available. So let's have this first. Then we have title, then we have body, then we have notification type dot ID, right? And then click on done. So this way our flow is created. Now I'm just clicking on save. So send custom notification, clicking on save and activating it. Now, if I go to the UI and let's say I am just sending the status of this case and I'm clicking on save. Okay, so there is some error. Okay, we need to provide some more information. So let's read the complete error message. So whenever there is some failure, so Salesforce automatically send you the email. So it is failing because you can't send a custom notification without a navigation target. So specify either a target ID or target page reference. So basically if I go here, open this notification. So we need to provide this target ID. So target ID will be the record. So I am just having the case ID. So we need to populate the ID through which uh, that custom notification should be sent, right? So in our case, whenever we update any case, so that case ID will be available in this target ID. So I'm clicking on done, save as so this way, I hope you understood like whenever flow fails, so you receive an email and basis on that email, you can just uh, fix your bug that is available in the flow. Now, if I click on save, so it is saved and uh, so here you can see, we have a notification here a few seconds ago. Right. So notification title, notification body. So this we created as a dummy. If you want to have some other data, so that will be available here. So right now I'm logged in as this user, Sanjay Gupta. So in this user's notification bell, that notification is available. Now I'm going to log in with my another user and I will show you. So I'm going to log in with the second user which is available here. And uh, if you want to have that login button automatically, so what you can do, you can just search for login access policies, then enable this checkbox and save it. Now, if you search for users, so you will be able to log in with the uh, user other than the logged in user so that you don't need to remember the password. So I'm just clicking on login. So I will be logged in with that uh, user. And here you can see in that user's notification bell, one notification is available a few minutes ago, right? So this way, if you want to send custom notification to a public group, so that you can do. And uh, for that, you just need to follow all the steps that I demonstrated in this video. So I hope you understood how we can send a custom notification through record trigger flow whenever a case is escalated to a public group.